Google Webmaster Tools Remove URLs Hello and welcome back again In this video session we're going to take a look at removing URLs through Google Webmaster Tools Remove URL feature As we can see Google has made some information available which we're going to touch base with in the minute okay so removing URLs is just a matter of given the URL that you want Google to remove from its search results, from its index, right? So you have that option and you can simply remove a particular URL. Now, having said that, Google suggests to webmasters and website owners to use robots.txt file to specify how it should crawl your website. Now, I have a video tutorial that shows you how to accomplish that, okay? Also, Google says, all right, we have requirements for you to use this feature here. And the requirements is that it's telling you, okay, you know what? If you want us to remove certain portions of your website, okay, we're happy to do that because we've made that option available. But... We actually want you to go ahead and make sure we don't re-index that particular folder or file, right? And for that reason, it's telling the website owners to use .htaccess file. In this example, if your website is running on Apache Web Server or IIS uh, Windows Server, you have to follow different options. But most websites are hosted on Apache Web Server. And it says, okay... You know, make sure that you use .htaccess file to password protect the directory you don't want us to index. Okay? And that is the safe bet for website owners to make sure that Google does not index certain portions. Now, I've created a video session that shows you how to actually accomplish password protection using .htaccess file. Okay? Also, if you have a modern web hosting account, most of them will have a feature for you to password protect certain directories. And it's just a matter of following the options to password protect the directories. Meaning, what I'm trying to tell you is you don't have to use .htaccess file to password protect certain directories that you don't want Google to index. Instead, if you have a modern web hosting, you should be able to find that feature. And let's say I want a password protect this, so people need to enter password and username, all that stuff. All I have to do is simply password protect that directory. Name it anything I want, because the folder name will stay the same, okay? And I simply create the user and give password and save it, modify it. So then, through my hosting account, I can, it is more than likely that you should be able to password protect certain directories without going through all the trouble of using the .htaccess file. But if you can't, then I've created a video session whereby I show you how to password protect those private directories, okay? Because that is the requirement, okay, for you to use this feature here, or else, you tell Google to remove it, and then when it does the round trip of internet, it's going to re-index it. And then you have to do it again and again, so that Google doesn't want that workaround, okay? Instead, it tells you as the website owner to make sure that you protect those um, by using other methods, okay? So, I thank you very much for learning with me. If you haven't subscribed to Rankia SEO Services YouTube channel, I encourage you to do that because I will be adding more useful videos for website owners like me and you. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you in the next video session.